Hi all, it's Dave here from Rank Nerd, and I have another tutorial for you. This tutorial is how to install Portainer on your VPS. Now, Portainer is a Docker, sort of a Docker management tool, which allows you to deploy new images, uh, new Docker images, um, really easily. So let me show you how. So here we have our VPS, um, I need to log into it, so I'll just S open up a terminal window and I'm going to go SSH and then root at my IP address of my VPS and then I'm going to enter in my password and I'm going to make sure that the system is up to date. So we're going to go app update. Now we are using Ubuntu 20.04 um, which you can do this on uh, Debian as well if you wish but um, we're going to use 20.04 in this time round. And then um, we can see that we have 124 packages available for update. So it's always good to make sure uh, your system is fully up to date. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to go apt dist uh, upgrade. And we're going to accept yes. And we'll just wait for this to happen. Shouldn't take too long. Fantastic, so now that's completed, um, we need to install Docker. Now, we can do this by going app install docker.io and we're going to accept that and we'll wait for this to install. Great, so that's now installed. Now all we need to do is run this command from that portainer um, has provided which I'll link this in the description below. So now that's working, you'll see that we um, have the set for port 9000. So if we open up a web browser, so we need to put in our uh, IP address, which is that, and we'll hit enter, and you're going to be brought to this page, which is to uh, your initial uh, admin account setup. So we're gonna put in a password here. And we're going to go, we'll take that anonymous collection of statistics off and we'll click create user. Now you can um, manage Kubernetes and you can also have multiple portainers on various, um, various machines. So um, in order to do that, you'd, if you say if you had another virtual machine, um, you would just simply repeat the same steps apart from when you run the command, you would run this command here. So um, we'll put that link in the description below as well. Um, and that would be the agent only deployment. And this allows you to go, actually I wanna to connect to an agent and then all you have to do is put in the um, IP address of the VPS um, with the port number, 9001 is the default and then name it what you want. And then right from, um, we're gonna make this the management um, uh, VPS, but right from here you will be able to spin up um, new Docker images on the remote VPS, which is super handy. Um, but for this purpose of the video, we're just going to um, install it on one VPS and manage those containers just on one VPS. So um, it's going to say you need to run this, but we've already done that back in um, the the start of this Docker container run. So we're just going to go connect and there we are. There's our local host. That's the one we're on currently. So we can click that and we can click on containers and you can see Portainer is a container itself. But um, if we wanted to um, add a um, container, we can click on app templates and there's already a whole lot of um, templates listed here. So, I mean, you can see down here, there's like Drupal, Joomla, um, basically anything available on the um, registry store you can probably install here. So um, let's just do something that is uh, interesting. So we'll just go WordPress, let's just do WordPress. Um, and we'll call this uh, my WordPress installation. Set a root password. Obviously do it a lot more secure than that. And then uh, do we want to enable access control? Yes, and we'll just go deploy stack. I mean, this is how easy it is. It's, it's 
It's a no-brainer. The guys at Portainer, amazing. Cool. All right, so we can click on the um, My WordPress, uh, WordPress installation. And you can scroll down and you can see that WordPress has been set up, the database is being set up, um, which is great. We'll scroll along here. Don't know where that scroll bar was. And you can see that it's on uh, port 4915380. So if we click that, it's going to not know where the heck that is. So we can just delete that, hit enter. And then we can go through and start our WordPress installation. It's that simple. You know, you can change these ports. It's really easy to change these ports. So we'll just go back, click on WordPress installation. So you can see it's on port 80. We want to edit that up. Well, we want to keep it on port 80, but we want to edit that port um, from 4913 to 80. So we can just click stop. We can get edit. We can change the container port. Uh, so this is the host, so the host is the VPS and the container is 80. So we'll leave the container at 80 and we'll say 80 for our host and we'll deploy the container. Uh, we'll replace it, that's fine. Cool, container is done. So then if we go back to here, we delete this, we should get a WordPress installation. Yep. We do. So, I mean, that's how easy it is. I mean, we can once again run another HTTPD instance. We can install a database. Um, you know, there's lots of options you can do. And then you can create your own images, you can upload your own images, pull certain images from Docker IO. It's just super awesome. I love Portainer. So, that completes our video. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.